New at six to some, this may not look like much, but to, there is a push to preserve this historic property in Gwinnett County, but boy, is it getting hated. It's called the Promised Land, and it was originally purchased from a slave owner by descendants of slaves who worked that land. And some family members, get this, still live there today. Now they're fighting to keep what's left of their legacy alive. Atlanta News First, Amanda Rose has the emotional story from Gwinnett County. It's our freedom, it's our legacy, it's our future. Generations of history sitting in this room and on this land that the Livesey family has owned for over a century, land that Gwinnett County wants. This is my mother-in-law and father-in-law. Robert Livesey Sr. and his wife Moena bought the former plantation called the Promised Land in 1920. They were descendants of slaves who were once forced to work here. They had 18 children. Today, much of the property and the original home is owned by Gwinnett County with plans to turn it into a museum. Well, they always just come and claim black land. Now the county wants the Livesey's two remaining parcels of land to develop into a public park. It includes a lake, a store, and apartments where descendants like Alexis Livesey lives with her six kids. Even if they offer the money, it's this is more than money. This is our home. The county could soon take the rest of the land by eminent domain, legally forcing the owners to sell. It's beautiful property. The Livesies have maintained it now as a county. We want to help it grow. The county says it wants to preserve the land's history. Imagine now coming to this property where descendants of former slaves are now descendants of all this rich history. The family worries the focus of the project will be the plantation owner, Thomas McGuire. He wrote a series of journals of antebellum life, reportedly inspiring Gone with the Wind. They're gonna come down here and celebrate the history um, while whitewashing what we have created here. To be clear, the county says nothing has been decided yet. There will be a board meeting on April 25th where Gwinnett County board members will vote on the eminent domain proposal. If that vote is successful, the final decision will happen right here in court. Outside the Gwinnett County Courthouse, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First.